All right, listen carefully. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars, and she being with child, travailing in birth, and pain to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns, and seven crowns upon his heads. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven, and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered, to, for to devour her child as soon as it was born. And she brought forth a man-child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron, and her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she hath a place prepared of God, that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and threescore days." And there was war in heaven, Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought against his angels, and prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent, called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength in the kingdom of our God, and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before God, before our God, day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto death. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in the earth. And listen, ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And when the dragon saw he was cast unto the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the child. And the woman, listen, and to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle, that she might fly into, a, into the wilderness, into her place, where she is nourished for a time and times and a half time from the face of the serpent. And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman, that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. And the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood, which the dragon cast out of his mouth. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ." Read your Bible. We'll read it to you. Come read it to you. But read it read it along with us if you can. And listen, read your Bible. Talk to the Lord. Times are getting tough. Times are getting bad. And it isn't about the end of the world, folks. If you die today, if you die today, you get hit by a car, you're going to stand in front of God. Well, you're not going to stand. You're going to be kneeling. We're going to be kneeling. We're going to be face down. But listen to me. Read your Bible so you know what's going on. We're all going to kneel. God is going to come. He is real, whether we want to believe that or not. So I believe. But there's a lot out there who don't. God loves you. And I know if you don't believe, you're not just going to believe. God will work on you. But come get some Bible. Come get some Bible. And listen, I'm not the only guy out there. But listen to people who give you Bible. Don't listen to self-interpretations. People that think they know. It's in here. It's in here. God bless. We love you.